Hey, how's everybody going? My name is Stashon Hogan with Allegiance to the Flag, and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to get your CAC working with your Mac. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and come to allegiance to the flag.com, create yourself a profile, and it'll bring you to this home page. You gotta come up here to the tabs groups, click on that. And it's gonna bring you to all these groups. Now what these groups are is your ability to go into them, ask questions, get resources to help you be a better leader and take care of your soldiers. So in this case, to get your Mac working, um, get your CAC working on your Mac, come to Army Mac Support. And I've placed a folder in, uh, in here or a file in here. Uh, it says CAC on Mac. So you can go ahead and open that and download it. And it's going to bring you to the steps. So the first step that we need to do is download the virtual box. So let's go ahead and click on that blue link, which will bring you to this website here. You're going to go ahead and click on this OSX host link. Once you click on this, it's going to automatically download it for you. And it's going to look something like this in the downloads. VirtualBox. DMG file, you're going to click on it. Take a couple seconds to open. Once this opens, you're going to go ahead and follow the steps and you're going to go ahead and take this, put it in your applications folder, go ahead and install it. All right. The next step that we have to follow is now we have to get the code. So take your command button, hold it down and space bar. It'll bring up a search bar for you. You're going to type in terminal and bring up a terminal box. Then go back to your steps and copy this code. Go back to your terminal box, make sure that you click this little gray box here, Command V, which will paste it right in there. Hit enter. It's gonna run its little magic code here for you. And you can see that I am already done. I'm complete. For you, it'll go through its process and it'll give you a countdown once that countdown's down, it'll tell you when the process is complete. After the process is complete and everything is downloaded, good to go, now we have to open up the virtual box. So what I do is I can either go into the applications folder or just swipe your fingers on your mouse pad and open up virtual box, which you can see I've already opened it up. So the next thing for you is this green will be show or I'll say start click on it which will run Windows for the very first time it may ask you for your password and here is your password password one what's cool about it is if you forget that or something happens to your notes um, the hint will always tell you too but once you get set up you can actually reset your password and you, you'll be good to go so once you're in to make sure that you're cat card is actually being read by Windows uh, plug it in and then come to devices USB and you'll see that it's checked off if it's not just go through the same process and click on it sometimes it might give you error code just pull your cat out uh, the USB cord and just put it back in and then you should be good to go once you get good you can go ahead and log into your AKO account um, first time you have to do is a user and password to get in. But once you get in, you can come over to the CAC Resource Center. And just like every normal Windows computer out there, just follow these steps. And everything on your CAC will be able to be working again on your Mac uh, via the virtual box, which will allow you to get into all of your military websites and applications. There are some resources on your regular Mac that can get you into your enterprise email, but it won't allow you to get into your LMS. So this is why you have to kind of backdoor it a little bit. Um, there are some uh, updates for the Yosemite, for the newer computers that come out, but the average user that has a Mac, this will actually help you be able to do everything that you need to do. So to be able to prove it to you that my everything is working out, I'm gonna go ahead 
and log out of AKO. So you can tell that I've been logged out. Let's get out of here all together. Let's go back in. Looking for my credentials. Found me. And I'm back into AKO. My goal is to take all of those files from the CAC Resource Center. And I've started the process, so it's just going to take me a little bit of time to download everything to my cloud server and upload it to the Mac support. So you won't even have to do the username password, but it's going to take me some time. So just be patient. Keep checking back the uh, Mac support group, and you should be good to go. Everything you need to get on your uh, military websites on your Mac. Hope this was able to help you out. Um, taking care of all your needs. Any other questions or concerns with regard to CAC on your Mac or anything else Mac related, just come here, post a question, and we'll go ahead and respond to you um, as soon as we can. Um, take advantage of the rest of the group, get involved in discussions, things like that. And any other thing that we can help you out, just let us know. Once again, this is uh, Staff Sergeant Hogan with Allegiance to the Flag. And uh, hope to uh, make more videos for you in the future and uh, give you the support that you need. Talk to you guys later.